What's the best joke you know? A lot of people tell me I've got an addiction to brake fluid. Truth is I can stop at any time. What's the difference between an oral thermometer and a rectal thermometer? The taste. What does a robot do during a one night stand? He nuts and bolts. Not mine. But I think it belongs to my favorite ones. Doctor. Will I be okay? I don't know. Mercury is in Uranus right now. I don't do astronomy doc. Me neither. My thermometer just broke. Did you hear about the cheese factory in France that exploded? Debris was everywhere. Here's a classic. So a grandpa takes his grandson out fishing. The grandpa pulls out a smoke and lights it. The kid asks hey grandpa can I have one? And he says, does your beep touch your ass? And the kid says well no and grandpa says there's your answer. You're too young. Then grandpa pulls out some whiskey and takes a few pulls off the bottle. Kid asks hey could I have a drink of that grandpa? And grandpa says, does your beep touch your ass? Well. No it doesn't says the kid. Grandpa says well there's your answer. So the kid pulls out some cookies and starts snacking away on them. And grandpa says gee kiddo those cookies look pretty good. Could I have one? So the kid says, does your beep touch your ass? And grandpa says why yes it does. And the kid says good. You can go peep yourself then. I was in the office today, and the cleaning lady asked if I wanted to smoke weed with her after work. I turned her down. I don't really like high maintenance women. Two nuns were sitting on a park bench when a naked man runs by. One of the nuns had a stroke. The other couldn't reach. Stalin is sitting at his desk busy with paperwork when his assistant bursts into the room and says. Comrade Stalin, there is a clairvoyant here that wants to see you. He claims he can see the future. Send him to Gilag says Stalin. If he could see the future he wouldn't have come here. A Buddhist walks up to a hot dog vendor and says make me one with everything. Bonus for philosophy nerds. Deskets walks into a bar. The bartender says hey. Deskets. I just got this new import beer in. Want to try it? Deskets says HMM. I think not. And he vanishes into thin air. The Buddhist gets his hot dog and pays with a 10. He asks the vendor. Where's my change? The vendor replies. Change comes from within. I mixed up the words jacuzzi and yakuza and now I'm in hot water with the Japanese Mayfair. How is 69 and being in the Mayfair alike? One slip of the tongue and you are in deep speep. A man goes to a funeral. He asks the widow if he could say a word. He goes to the front and says plethora and sits back down. The widow leans over and whispers thanks. That means a lot. Edit. Thank you everyone. I gladly will add on your lines when I retell this joke. You have all made my day brighter. Another man approaches. He had been a close companion of the deceased. He too asks the widow if he might speak and heads to the front. Bargain. He says. The widow pats his arm. That means a great deal. Thank you. I would have you know that you got both me and my dad laughing. I will gladly add this on when I tell this joke. My personal favorite one. A man comes up and asks to say a few words. And the widow gives him the okay. He steps up to the mic and says with confidence. Water pit. The widow gives a small smile. Thanks. I know you mean well. Two guys are walking down the street when they see a dog licking his balls. One guy says. I wish I could do that. The other replies. Well maybe just try petting him first. A penguin is on a long deserved vacation from the zoo. He decides to take a road trip out west, where his car breaks down. Luckily, it's right in front of a mechanic in town. He drops the car off and tells the mechanic he's going to get some lunch. It's a really hot day, so after eating he stops by the ice cream shop for a little treat. Walking back to his car, the mechanic tells the penguin it looks like you blew a seal. The penguin laughs. Oh. No he said. 
As he wiped his mouth it's just ice cream. I had a song stuck in my head the other day and kept singing it out loud. My wife finally broke down and screamed will you please stop singing Wonderwall? I said maybe. I hear you dude. I was humming the chorus to I'm a believer around the house the other day when my wife suddenly screamed at me to knock it off. This was really out character for her, so I just assumed she was joking. Then I saw her face. Edit. If you're spending money on these awards, please give it to a cancer charity instead. Thanks. People are shocked when they find out what a terrible electrician I am. Dad. The trashman's here. Tell him we don't need any. A man sat down at a bar and told the bartender, I bet you $300 that I can piss into the cup all the way over there on the other side of the bar and not miss a single drop. The bartender said, there is no way you can do that. Sure, I'll bet you $300. The man then begins to undo his pants and begins pissing. He starts pissing all over the bar, spraying on the bottles in the bartender not making a single drop in the cup. The bartender starts smiling and laughing and says, that's it, you owe me $300. The man then gets up and walks over to the pool table and starts laughing and shaking hands with the men standing there. He walks back to bar, sits down and starts laughing at the bartender and hands him the money. The bartender asks, why are you laughing? You just lost the bet. The man said, I'm laughing because I bet those guys over there $1,000 that I could piss all over you and your bar and you would still be laughing when I was done. I've heard this one, but with a lawyer and eyes inspector. What did the sign on the door of the brothel say? Beat it. We are closed. A proctologist walks into a bank. He needs to sign a dopey punt. He tries to sign, but he pulls a thermometer out of his shirt pocket. Oh speep. Some ash peep has my pen. I went to the zoo and saw a baguette in a cage. I asked the zookeeper about it and he told me it was bred in captivity. Doc, you gotta help me. I can't stop singing what's new pussycat. Ah. That sounds like Tom Jones syndrome. Is it common? It's not unusual. Are you new in town by any chance? I'm homeless. I'm gay, I have AIDS, and I'm new in town. No no, I'm gonna push him. One day three people were stuck on an island with cannibals. The cannibals said, if you do what we say, we won't kill you. So the three people followed the orders the cannibals. So the cannibals said, go into the forest and pick 10 fruits of the first fruit you see. So the first person came back out of the forest with 10 apples. The cannibals said, Put the apples up your ass without making a facial expression. The person then made a facial expression after the second apple. So the cannibals killed him. The second person came back out of the forest with 10 cherries. The cannibals said. Put the cherries up your ass without making a facial expression. The person then started laughing on the 10th cherry. So they killed him. In heaven. The person with apples. Asked the person with cherries. Why did you start laughing? The person replied. I saw the third person come out with pineapples. This reminded me of this one. What's the definition of trust? To cannibals giving each other blowjobs. What did Cinderella say when she got to the ball? Makes gagging sound. I told this to my family when I was like, 11? Went over well. The only thing so far that's made me laugh out loud is the mental image of someone telling their family that joke at the age of 11. I told my mom I wanted a piece of boontang pie because I heard someone say it while watching the WWF now WWE. That was a weird time. The World Wildlife Foundation really used to be a different organization altogether huh? Why did the blind man fall into the well? He couldn't see that well. This guy sees a sign. Talking dog 5. He walks up and asks the man. Does this dog really talk? Owner. Yep. Bull speep. Dog. It's true. I can talk. Man holy speep. Dog. Yeah. I started out in the circus as a sideshow. Until the CIA found me. They recruited me as a spy. 
no one suspects the dog in the room, is listening to state secrets. After two tours, I retired here in the country, to live out my days. Man. My god. Man. That is the most astounding thing I have ever heard. So, why the hell are you only selling him for 5? Owner. Because that dog is a liar. He didn't do any of that speak. Ah. A Labrador deceiver. What's the difference between a slob on a bicycle and a well-dressed individual on a unicycle? Attire. The divorce court judge says to Mickey now let me get this straight Mr. Mouse. You want a divorce from your wife Minnie because she's crazy? And Mickey says no. I never said she was crazy. I said she was peeping goofy. If you can do a good Mickey impression it really sells this one. Three men went to hell. And they stood before the devil. The devil asked the first man. What did you do for a living? The man answered. I was a lumberjack. The devil said then we will chop your penis off. He turned to the second man. Asking the same question he asked the first. I was a fireman. Said the second man. Then we will burn your penis off. Said the devil. He turned to the third man. Asking the same question he asked the other two. The third man thought about it. And finally answered the devil. I was a lollipop salesman. CHMOMP. No. Mr. Rao. A pair of hunters from Illinois are out in the woods. Whilst descending a hill one of them suddenly cries out in pain and falls to the bottom. Clutching his chest as he hit the ground. The other hunter rushes to his side as his friend noticeably stops breathing. Pulling out his phone he quickly dials 911. After a few rings the dispatcher picks up. 911 what is your emergency? Asks the dispatcher. The hunter replies. I'm out near route 51 my friend has a heart attack I think he is dead. What do I do? Asks the hunter. The dispatcher replies. It is okay sir. Can you calm down and make sure that he is dead? The hunter replies. Okay. The dispatcher hears some rustling over the phone followed by the resounding boom of a 12 gauge. The hunter comes back on the line asking. Okay. Now what? Joke is courtesy of my stepfather and his old drinking buddy. The men of many laughs. This was once voted as the funniest joke in the world. I think the criteria was that it made people of all cultures laugh that heard it. A boss had two employees. Alice and Jack. He only needed one. But they were hired at the same time and were both equally good at their job. He couldn't decide which to get rid of. He was sitting at a bar thinking about the situation. Alice walks in and sits beside him and asks you seem down. What's wrong? The boss said I need to either lay you or jack off. Alice says, well, please jack off. I'm tired. What do you get if you insert human DNA into a goat? Kicked out of the petting zoo. Priest and plumber go golfing. It's the last three holes after a close round. Plumber misses his swing and curses bugger mist. The priest is mildly offended and chastises him, you shouldn't curse in the lord's presence. The plumber laughs it off and looks furtively over his shoulder. Next hole. The plumber is distracted and goofs on the putting green. He can't help but curse bugger this. The priest scolds him I told you. If you curse again may the lord strike you down. The priest takes the lead. On the last hole, the plumber is sweating from the pressure, practicing his putting move. One point separates them on the green. He swings. Connects. And the ball rolls on the lip of the hole and pivots off target into the sand bunker. Fkin FCK. The plumber rants. Before the priest can chime in a mighty rumble is heard. The thick clouds overhead part and a bolt of lightning screams through the air. The priest is struck dead and a voice from the cloud says bugger. Missed. I walked into the pharmacy and asked for some deodorant. The bowl kind? Just four under the arms is fine. What do you call a dog with steel balls and no hind legs? Sparky. What do you call a dog with no legs? It doesn't matter he won't come anyway. Edit. Thanks for the awards. I thought it was cigarette. Every night you take him out for a drag. Why does the chicken coop only have two doors? 
because if it had four, it would be a chicken sedan. Why does the little mermaid wear seashells? Because she's too big for bee shells. Edit. Had no idea this was gonna blow up. Thanks all of you for all the awards. I bought the worst thesaurus the other day. Not only was it terrible, it was also terrible. Edit. Well, shucks. Thanks for all the awards, and for my most upvoted comment. You're all great. And also, you're great. Did you hear about the man with five penises? His pants fit like a glove. A penis joke I haven't heard before. Literally just made my day. I could tell you another one that'll make your whole week. What's red and bad for your teeth? A brick. Guy walks into a bar and says to the bartender I'll show you something amazing for a beer. Bartender agrees. Guy pulls out a 10 pianist from his pocket and sets him on the bar. He starts playing beautifully. The bartender, wowed, demands where the hell do you find that little man? Guy says I've got a tiny wizard in my other pocket. For another beer, you can make a wish. Bartender agrees and says wizard, I'd like 100,000 bucks. Suddenly the bar fills with 100, 000 ducks. Bartender, confused and angry says what the hell mate. I didn't want 100, 000 ducks. Guy responds oh, you think I wanted a 10 pianist? I like. Waterboarding in Guantanamo Bay sounds like a great time, if you don't know what either of those things are. Water sports in Guantanamo Bay would be a whole other story. How do you spot a blind man in a nudist camp? It's not hard. Before this post I knew of many naked jokes, but I don't think I nudist one. Two cows are standing in a field. One turns to the other and says, Did you hear about the mad cow disease going around? The other cow responds, Good thing I'm a helicopter. How many potatoes does it take to kill an Irishman? There's also plenty of Latvian jokes revolving around potatoes and abject poverty. To Latvians look at cloud. One see potato. Other see impossible dream. Is same cloud. Or. One day there is knock at Latvian man's home. Who is? Is potato man. I bring potato. Man very happy. Very excite. Open door. Is not potato man. Is secret police. What's the difference between a dirty bus stop and a lobster with breast implants? One is a crusty bus station and the other is a busty crustacean. What's the difference between an pickpocket and a peeping tom? One is a watch snatcher and the other is a snatch watcher. As a fan I have a special fondness for Russian slash Soviet political jokes. A new arrival to get a giz asked, what were you given 10 years for? For nothing. Don't lie to us here comrade. Everybody knows for nothing is three years. A judge walks out of his chambers laughing his head off. A colleague approaches him and asks why he is laughing. I just heard the funniest joke in the world. Well, go ahead. Tell me. Says the other judge. I can't I just gave someone 10 years for it. Russian jokes are the absolute best. A man sees someone else walking down the street with one bare foot. What happened? Did you lose a boot? He asks. No. The other guy responds with excitement. I found one. Doctor. Doctor. I swallowed a pen. Well. Sit down and write your name. Seems like the person has appendicitis. I have a joke I tell kids. I start with the interrupting cow knock knock joke. Knock knock. Who's there? Interrupting slow slowly. Interrupting slow foo. Wait a few seconds up. What's the difference between a hippo and a zippo? One is very heavy, and the other is a little lighter. Not mine. I went to a beekeeper to get 12 bees. He counted and gave me 13. Sir, you gave me an extra. That's a freebie. This one is so cute. A Chevy Silverado. A Ford F-150, a Ram 1500, a GMC Sierra, and a Toyota Tundra are driving in convoy. 
Best pickup line ever. Thanks dad. Mrs. Johnson's second grade class came in from recess. Timmy. What did you do during recess? I played in the sandbox with Sally. That's good. If you can spell sand. Have a cookie. S-A-N-D. Very good. Have a cookie. Sally. What did you do? I played in the sandbox with Timmy. That's good. If you can spell box. Have a cookie. B-O-X. Very good. Have a cookie. Jamal. What did you do during recess? I wanted to play in the sandbox with Timmy and Sally, but they wouldn't let me. Oh no. That sounds like blatant racial discrimination. If you can spell blatant racial discrimination, you can have a cookie. Three guys are walking their dogs down the street. The first guy goes, hey, watch this. He throws down three dog biscuits, and the dog says, woof, woof, woof. The guy says yeah, I'm a mathematician. I taught my dog to count. The second guy says, yeah, well watch this. He throws down six biscuits and the dog noses them around into a perfect pyramid. I'm an architect, he says. I taught my dog how to build. That's cool. The third guy says, I'm a bartender. He throws down two biscuits. The dog crushes them both up, snorts them both, peeps the other two dogs, and calls in sick to work the next day. Two elderly couples regularly get together for dinner. One evening the husbands are out on the porch talking after the meal. The other night we went to the nicest restaurant. Great food, excellent service, and the prices are reasonable. What's it called? Can I remember? What's the name of that flower? Red. Smells nice. Has thorns. You mean a rose? Oh yeah. That's it. Hey Rose. What's the name of that place we went to the other time? How do you tell if a firefighter has an airway obstruction? They stop talking about being a firefighter. Also works with vegans, crossfitters, any other groups you know who talk about themselves a lot. Guys walks into the therapist. Therapist. So what brings you in today? Guy. Well, this is a bit embarrassing, but when I get drunk I like to blow chunks. And I would really like to stop. Therapist. Have you tried drinking less? Maybe the problem is that you drink too much and your body can't handle too much alcohol. Guy. No doc. You don't understand. Chunks is the name of my dog. Three vampires walk into a bar. The bartender asks what will it be. The first vampire orders a pint of blood. The bartender nods and hands him a pint of blood. The second vampire also orders a pint of blood. The bartender fills another glass and slides it down. Now he gets to the last vampire and asks and you. The third vampire asks for a glass of boiling water. The bartender, very confused, asks why do you want a glass of boiling water? The vampire pulls out used tampon and replies I found this outside, so I thought it'd have an iced tea. When I'm sad, I ask my boyfriend to tell me a pirate joke and he always does the same one. What's a pirate's favorite letter? I don't know. Ah. You think it'd be R, but it's actually the C. The pink gorilla joke. It takes about 30 minutes to an hour to tell. All sorts of things may be added by the person telling it for dramatic and customization effects. The payoff is epic. Hey Luigi. You look at the women with the big saggy tits. No. Me don't like. Hey Luigi. You look at the women with the big fat ass and mustache. No. No. Me don't like. Then why you off people my wife? Two guys go golfing. First guy says. Ima stop by the pro shop. Buy some balls. You need any? Second guy says nah. I've got one. First guy says what I mean you've got one. You might lose it. Second guy says, nah, it's a special ball. You can't lose it. First guy says what if you hit it into the lake. Second guy says it's buoyant. It floats. You can't lose it. First guy says, what if you hit it into some tall grass and you can't find it. Second guy says, it's got a homing beacon. It beeps. You can't lose it. First guy says what if it gets dark and you can't see it. Second guy says, 
It glows in the dark. You can't lose it. First guy says. That's amazing. Where'd you get it? Second guy says. I found it. History joke. Stalin sat next to the dying Lenin when Lenin said. Joseph I don't know if the people will follow you. Stalin replied. Don't worry they will follow me. Otherwise they'll follow you. An old man and a little boy are walking through the woods. The little boy looks up and says. Grandpa. It's getting dark and I'm getting scared. The old man replies. You're scared? I have to walk out of here alone. <laughs>